Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. building man for another episode of bbw man everybody loves beards bourbon whiskey the podcast you know what it is got my man angry principal off camera what's up got my man bo holding it down i say and of course man it's your boy q lewis holding it down live from the 48205 man still motherfucking big boy season and shit though in case you didn't know <laughs> <laughs> if you see this last week is this season all motherfucking season so we back this time with saint liberty all right so this is saint liberty birdie's cask strength all right so what's dope about this uh this saint liberty series all right is that it features a bunch of women uh bootleggers and i think it's i think it's all black women bootleggers no, or is it just women it's period just women. okay mm-hmm. so it's women bootleggers this one is birdie uh you want you got a little information on this angry principal <laughs> so uh birdie's beer gulch bourbon honors legendary bootlegger birdie brown who homesteaded in fergus county montana in the 1920s that's right that's so, right. I remember. So this one is eighty three percent Montana. Yeah, Montana. That's Montana. why this shit was. That's why this shit yeah. was funny. Uh, this one's eighty three percent corn, fourteen percent rye, three percent malted barley, um, triple spot still. It's at least at minimum four years old. Okay. So it's it's crafted in Texas, but it comes from uh, a Montana type. Uh, uh, the mash bill comes from Montana originally. Comes from Montana. Okay. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Uh, this is the Kirk. This is the cash strength. They have a regular strength also mm-hmm. uh, right. under birdies, but I got the. I wound up seeing this uh, for the cash strength, and I think I want to say it's forty nine bucks. Okay, uh, forty nine. No, forty five bucks. Forty five. I, I want to say yeah, it's forty five bucks. Uh, and like the I cash said, strength is one hundred and fourteen. One hundred and fifteen proof. Fifteen proof. One hundred and fifteen proof. But it's a four year. Now, one thing that you will notice is saying that it's four year. Mm-hmm. Most of your bourbons right now do not have the age statement on it. True. Because it's a blend of a bunch of stuff. So for this to actually have the age statement on it is a big deal because you don't see it as much as you used to for sure. with mm-hmm. the age stated bourbon. So that's mm-hmm. why the cost is a little bit higher because there's an actual age statement on it. Gotcha. Okay. Shout out to Birdie and all the uh, female bootleggers. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a cool series of St. Liberty. Uh, it is. I know it's four different uh, expressions that they have honoring those bootleggers, female bootleggers, female bootleggers, yeah, bootleggers, for sure, and especially from out west. Yeah. So uh, early 1900s out west is where most of them come up. Which is crazy because again, uh, at the Taste of Black Spirits, I think is where we first uh, seen one of these, and I, I think it was one of it was one of the birdie expressions because you mentioned the Montana, and that shit blew me like Montana, right, <laughs> right, of all <laughs> exactly. places, of all places, Montana, that's like the right? wilderness to us right now, you know, exactly. So that worked out. Five hundred thousand people in that whole. State, state, you know. <laughs> the whole state, right? You know, we got that many people in Detroit, so you know. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how it is in 115 proof. Uh, I know my guys is gonna love this, so let's uh take a look at the pop right. of the cork. Pause for the cork. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's the, an actual cork though. It's the actual cork. Yeah, it's I actual. think it, we just had it was too much from the room a few yeah. weeks ago. It's just that shit popped like the genie was gonna come up out of there. All right, this was big pour for me, so I see. Now this is four years, but it it actually looks a little darker than I would think four years would be. I would actually expect it to be a little lighter. Let's see what we got. Mostly corn mash, right on the mm-hmm. bill, right? Eighty four percent corn. Eighty four. Mm-hmm. It smells. It smells familiar, honestly, and I've never had it, so I can't pick it out. I don't know what, what it is. is. That? It's something. I smell char. Yeah, I smell. Smell that. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the first time we ever said we smelled the char mm-hmm. immediately. You do, know, yeah, because it bites you a little bit. It's something sweet, but I'm not sure what. Caramel, vanilla, cherries. Cherries, cherries. Definitely caramel, vanilla, and cherries. And the cherries are the most. Ex- the cherries is the thing. pronounced. On this. This is 115? 15. It don't hit like a 115. No, don't. It don't hit like a 115. It's a smooth 115. Yeah, I ain't gonna y'all lie to about the cherries, though. Yeah. yeah. 
I really get cherries and char. In the middle, you get the pepper taste. Yeah, I get a little pepper. I like it, though. I like it. Hell of a hug. Mm. A little surprise yeah, for the 115, though. I thought it would be... I thought it hit me a little harder than what it hit did. Hit a little harder. Yeah. But let me tell you this, though. I'm not mad about that. <laughs> I'm not mad about that at all. I will tell you this, though, off rip. I'm for sure not putting nothing in this. This is, I'm never mixing this with anything. This is what it is for Drop me. Drop an ice cube in it. That's about it. I don't yeah, even want no that's ice. That's about it. I don't even want no ice. This, is, this tastes... It tastes good. And it's strong enough... Like, in my head, I, I know it's 115. If you didn't tell me it was 115, oh, I would have never thought it. I probably would have thought it was about 95. So, 92, 95, somewhere in there. So, it's a, it's a sneaky 115. Yeah. That means that you're going to be hitting this thinking that you good, and you so ain't good. On the second taste, I got more vanilla and cherries than I have anything. And the the char at the end. Char at the end. But the vanilla and cherries is what I'm getting. The vanilla might have been the sweetness that I was smelling at the beginning. Cherries are strong. Cherries are sure. strong, though. Yeah. But it's not a bad, it's not a bad strong cherry though. So don't get me wrong when I say that. Because again, I'm more of a, a cocoa caramel sweetener, sweetness kind of, you know, kind of palate rather than fruit. But this is a good, this is a good cherry though. Does a cigar do anything for you? It brings out the pepper space, uh, taste to it. Mm -hmm. But not, it doesn't do anything else but bring out the pepper. Okay, birdie. Yeah. Is it birdie okay. or, bur oh, it's both. Yeah, birdie did. Birdie, this. birdie. Brown. Good job, Birdie. I like this. This, this is good. This is really good. This is good. So y'all read y'all read this whole story? I didn't read the whole story. Oh man, don't read the end of it. Okay. Don't read the end of it? Don't read the end of it. Oh shit. What the hell don't happened? Read the end of it. What happened at the end? I don't, don't want to bring down the mood. I don't want to bring down the mood. <laughs> no, I don't want to read it. I'm gonna read it after we get off read camera. It after, read it after. Look, look, look. Angry Prince was like, fuck that. I wanna know. Yeah, I gotta know. I don't wanna know. No, I wanna bring it down the mood. This shit is fire though. This shit is this good. This shit is good. Uh, yeah, folks, yeah. First of all, I, I'm excited. Again, this is just like the Fort Mose story a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm excited about the story. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, as a female uh, bootlegger, a black bootlegger, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? In Montana. That's crazy, off rip. But, like, this is a very good, uh, this is a very good arrangement of notes. Because I, I really didn't think that the, I didn't think the cherry would work for me. Oh, oh damn. You would say it's a symphony. Yeah. It's a symphony. I'm glad you <laughs> <laughs> symphony. There you go. Yeah, I'm glad you need to bring up the, yeah, end of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I'm not going to yeah. We want to keep the move lively, right? Big, here, big right? up to yeah. Birdie, though. Yeah, big up to Birdie. For Damn, sure. I'm curious yeah. as hell now. Let's hurry and get this episode yeah. over so I can get to the end of well, this. Well, we will say this Birdie was an entrepreneur. She was, yeah. entrepreneur. <laughs> she was definitely <laughs> multi tasked. Rest in power, Birdie. Rest in, rest in uh, power. Sure. power. Damn. Damn, straight. That was a hell of a way to go. All right, yeah, I'm definitely going to read this after the fact, dude. I don't want to kill it. But it's not. A racism thing. No, it's not a racism thing. Oh, because that's what I was thinking. Nah, it's just some bad like, fucking luck just thing. Oh, yeah. luck. Damn. 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 All right, I'm all right with that. Yeah. All right. I thought it was going to be some racial shit. No, 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 all right, we good. No. So, yeah, uh, St. Liberty, like I said, I think this is a uh, this is a long list of expressions. This is one of the uh, bootleggers here. Uh, so, 115, though, I, I am surprised that it's, it didn't hit me as hard. But, again, I'm surprised, but I'm I'm cool with that, though. I know at 115 and these these two motherfuckers right here want 127, 130. They probably <laughs> they probably want 200 if it was legal. But I can't. Uh, this 115 is good for me. I will say this though. I think that there's there's some hundred proofs. I think that probably seem like to me anyway. It hit a little harder. Like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Like it hit a little harder. But I'm cool with this. And I like it straight. I don't want to put no ice in it. I don't want to mix it with nothing. So it's not it, harsh. No, it's not harsh at all. The char taste is is there. Um, the cherries is there again. I'm not always a fan of like the cherry sweetness, but this one shit, it really works. And at 115, I'm excited about it. So, uh, what yeah, you it's guys? Not think? harsh. It's smooth. It's exactly now. As far as I know, both of you guys are like proof hunters. So 115, what does this do for y'all though? Like, is it a 115 that you would expect or? No, I, I, it came in a little bit lighter than what I thought it would. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's still not. It's not bad though, right? Um, right. If I didn't know it was 115, I would think it's more along the lines of like right around 100, mm -hmm. maybe even, you know. I even thought a maybe in the 90s. Bit, yeah, I'm yeah. about to say maybe even into the 90s a little. Yeah. Um, but overall, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm impressed kind of. You know, I, I, am, I think though. the test is, taste is good. Yeah, for me, yeah, definitely the taste is great. And at 115, even... And a lighter 115 is great for me, though. Because you know how a rare breed is at 116 and you can't tell? 
true. that's what this does. That's true. Mm -hmm. But even though you, eh, you can tell it more than this, though. You yeah, tell, yeah mm -hmm. more than this. This is deceptive. This is agreed. But don't mix this with anything. No. This is drop I tell you ice what, cube in it. That's it. I if tell you, you what. If you do that, you mix with this. Oh, it's gonna be a problem that evening. It's gonna be a problem, <laughs> dog. It's gonna be a whole ass problem. <laughs> So we're gonna go around the block one last time. Man. I'm gonna try this with my lime limeade and okay. see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. I want to okay. see what happens. Okay. Uh, that's my version of a whiskey sour. Mm -hmm. Is d d use that uh, simply limeade, especially with the mm -hmm. cherry that in there. Yeah, that especially cherry. with the cherry, mm -hmm. that'll probably yeah. that'll that'll really make a difference. So oh, I'm, I'm go, excited to try. It it's gonna get somebody in trouble. Somebody gonna go, get me in trouble. Yeah, yeah somebody definitely gonna have more kids off of that. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, point no elbows off camera. But anyway, so we gonna go around the block. How old are you? And you right. got a baby? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, who got one? Robert Nero got one. So hey, he was like what, sixty four? Seventy. No, seventy four. He's seventy four, right? <laughs> That baby gonna come out looking old as hell. <laughs> so what you wanna rate it now? We're gonna start with Angry Principal. Benjamin Button ass baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell. One to five. <laughs> One to five black power fists, dog. What do you rate St. Liberty, dog? Before 115, <laughs> this is definitely a four for me. Uh -huh. I like this. Yeah. It puts me in the mind. It's my rare breeds. It's, it's, it's sippable for an everyday sipper. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I wouldn't mix it with anything. I would just go straight at this. Maybe drop one small little ice cube to dilute it a little bit. That's if that's what you're in the mood for. Mm -hmm. But I'm at four only because the story is fire. Story fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Oh, shit. <laughs> no pun intended. Definitely not. Cut. Right. Cut. Cut, motherfucker. But if you know the story of what happened to Birdie, then. Okay. Then that anyway, makes sense. But it makes sense. The, the story for her, for Birdie is good. Uh, the the liquor is good. The juice is good. The tastes are good. I enjoyed this one. Gotcha. This is a four for me. Four for you. All right, for sure. Bo, what you think, bro? I can't really add on to that, man. Um, mm -hmm. I give it a four as well for a lot of the same reasons. Mm -hmm. If I had to knock it for anything, just you know, I would like a little bit more, a little bit more punch with you know, uh, uh, with it being on one fifteen, a little more one fifteen uh, yeah, for the one fifteen. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> a little bit more one fifteen there, but uh, yeah, overall, I give it a four. It, it, I, I think it's solid taste, strength. Um, it's all around. I think it's solid for sure. So I, I'm on the same boat with that. Uh, I'm going to give it a four as well. Um, and I think it goes back to something that Angry Principal said. He can see it as being an everyday sipper. And I say that I say that that's important because nowhere in my head would I ever think a 115 would be mm -hmm. everyday. You know what I'm saying? This 115 is smooth enough. And I know a lot of uh, bourbon connoisseurs don't like the word smooth, but I'm using it. It's smooth enough <laughs> that I could drink this like on a regular basis. Like maybe like you say with a one or two cubes of ice maybe one uh ice sphere it's so hard to say sphere <laughs> sphere yeah <laughs> so like maybe one of those but yeah for sure i'm giving it a four as well the story again um i'm gonna probably be like this with most black owned liquors that have that kind of history mm -hmm. those stories are always going to be important for me so that story is definitely something um, not just from the bootlegging uh, aspect of it, but the entrepreneurial aspect of it. But and for her being a woman, for sure. That whole series yeah. of St. Liberty. The whole series, yeah. Good. That, even the gin was really good. Yeah. And we had it at a Black Spirit. We so did have the gin good, there, so yeah, okay. for sure. They've all been very, very good. Yeah, for sure. So shout out to them. Shout out to St. Liberty, dog. This uh, across the board is getting a four. Uh, definitely something I would say if you are, if you are kind of entertaining like the 90s uh, level uh kind of proofs i think this is a decent one to try if you want to try something higher proof but we're kind of afraid of how it might bite i think this is a good kind of transition you can actually say that you had something that was 115 proof and then fucking kill you so <laughs> i think this will work for you uh so shout out to birdie man shout out to that whole story if you're not hip to the story make sure that you google her uh and get you a bottle of this saint liberty and again like we say every week dog these are our opinions uh make sure that you do go out and check it out on your own and see what you know see how many black power fists you'll give it <laughs> he keeps saying fire i just can't get that out of my head dog. <laughs> anyway we out here dog to the next time <laughs> you already know what it is man bbw everybody loves bbw that's beards bourbon whiskey the podcast man i got Angry Principal off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.
Ross, we'll get Stacy Dash, man. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy Dash.